Here's how to get started editing the introductory project. It's split into four parts, so we'll start off with project 1A. Now what project 1A should produce can be uh, shown on the terminal window. So the first thing is you've got to get into the project 1A introduction directory. Your present working directory, you need to change directory to project 1A introduction. Type ls and you can see the files that are there. So the output that you want to get is the same as what's shown in project1a.py. So it should do that once we run the program. But the partially completed program will produce an error message. And we need to edit it. So click on the file and we can use the editor window in here. So comments are shown either with a triple quote or with a hash symbol. Now where I've put a hash and a star, I've used that to indicate lines that you need to change or replace. So on this line here, we need to set the resistance to be 100. So resistance is a variable, and I assign that to have the value 100. The next line that needs to be edited is line 16, which is going to show the current on the screen. It's going to look very similar to line 15, so in fact I'm just going to copy line 15 and edit so that instead of R we have I for current. And instead of ohms we'll have a unit of amps. So at this point I might as well explain what these backslash T symbols mean and the backslash N symbols. Backslash N is for taking a new line in the output, so that Welcome and the Wii Ohms Law program will be on two separate lines. Backslash T is for lining things up in columns. The last edit that needs to be done on line 18 is to complete the calculation. Voltage equals current times resistance. In multiplication, in Python multiplication uses an asterisk. So resistance star Current. So that should be ready to run. If I type in the terminal window, just press the up arrow and press enter. And I can see now the partial program produces, produces the correct output.